Chapter 1, Mishnah 4. The Mishnah teaches that a mikvah of the first level, such as the puddle, is not susceptible to Tumah. If a corpse fell into the puddle, or a Tame person walked through it, and then a Tahor person drank from the puddle, the drinker is Tahor. This is because the rainwater in the puddle is a mikvah of the first level, which is immune to becoming Tame, since it is connected to the ground. Therefore, although a corpse or a Tame person usually contaminates things by contact, the person who drank from the puddle remains Tahor. Mishnah 1 gave rainwater and puddles as the case of a level 1 mikvah. The Mishnah proceeds to teach that puddles are just an example, because in fact all small collections of rainwater have the status of a first level mikvah. Whether water gathered in puddles, or water, or water gathered in pits, or water gathered in ditches, or water gathered in caves, or pools of water formed on the lower part of a hillside from runoffs that have ceased running, or mikvahs used for tevila, which do not presently contain 40 sa'ah, which, or mikvahs used for tevila, which do not presently contain 40 sa'ah. To all these cases, the rulings stated from Mishnah 1 until here apply. Until now, we have been discussing cases in which we know for sure that a Tommy person drank from a particular puddle or other first level mikvah, or that a Tommy container was used to draw water from it. The Mishnah now considers the status of first-level mikvahs that we know nothing about. Do we need to be concerned that a Tame person might have drunk from these unsupervised mikvahs, or that someone may have drawn water from them using a Tame container? The Mishnah teaches that the law for unsupervised puddles situated outside a town depends on two factors, the location of the puddle and the time of year. During the rainy season, when people do not generally leave their towns, we are not concerned that a Tame person drank from any puddles located outside the town. Therefore, all puddles located outside the town, even if they are near the town, are considered Tahor. Hence, a Tahor person who drinks from these unsupervised puddles remains Tahor. Once the rains stop, i.e. after the rainy season is over, those puddles that are near a town or road are considered Tame. With the arrival of dry weather, people begin to travel somewhat outside the town, so we must be concerned that a Tame person drank from those puddles that are nearby, after which a Tame drop dripped from his mouth back into the puddle. But those puddles that are distant from the town or road are still considered Tahor, because the ground at this time of year is still muddy, and people do not yet venture far from the town or veer far off the road. This rule remains in force until later in the year, at which time there are already many people traveling. Once that time arrives, we must take into account the possibility that a Tame person drank even from a distant puddle, and all puddles, no matter where they are located, are considered Tame.